Hello there. I am back. I have got everything that I bought spread out on the table here. Uh, I haven't got my normal setup because I'm in a holiday house, so uh, so bear with me with the the lighting and the the dodgy overhead angle. Uh, I'm just doing my best with a, with a bit of a makeshift setup here. So I am going to show you what I've bought today. First is the uh, the travelers the actual travelers notebook that I got. That's um, a spare little elastic that it comes with to hold it together and I'm also I'm just going to keep the other little one uh, that comes in the packet as well I think that could be handy later on and this is it in this beautiful cotton case I got the camel because I just love that vintage brown uh, it's the same color as my lounge at home and I think that it should wear really nicely as it gets scratches and scuffs and as it ages, as it travels around with me on adventures. I'm hoping that this leather should, uh, should wear beautifully. It comes with one regular insert. So this is uh, the first extra insert that I've bought. It is the 003 and that is just the regular Midori paper as well. The next insert is the 014 and with my assistant helping me I shall open this up. And this is the, um, the insert that is the toned craft paper and I thought this could be really fun for, for some art journaling. Um, I think that craft paper can really show up the metallics and some of the darker colours nicely. The next one I got is the 012 insert and this one is a bit thicker so the pages are, are quite heavy and thick and it is, it is the, the, um, the sketch paper one. You can see some of the stamps that I used there. So the pages are a lot thicker and so I'm hoping that this works for me like a bit of a multimedia journal that you know will hold up to some watercolours and some different inks and things. Next one is the 008 insert and this isn't this is like a like a storage insert where one side is like a plastic dashboard and the other side is a Ziploc pocket for holding all kinds of little bits and bobs and accessories or receipts or whatever you wanted to use that for. The 020 insert is like a craft paper folder with pockets on each side. So if you slide this into your traveller's notebook, you will have a pocket on each side that you could use for stickers or receipts or anything that you wanted to slip in and, and hold there. This insert is, is the one that I was really excited to, to check out and it is like the business card holder one. So it has got one, two, three, four rows of business cards that you can hold. And so I won't actually, you, I might use it for some business cards, some favorite ones that I wanted to, to keep handy, but I'm gonna use this for my washi tape samples. So you can insert them on the front and back of each side. These are the self-adhesive little pocket stickers that you can put on the inside or onto um, some of the, the, the inserts or wherever you like. This is the writing board. So it's got these beautiful uh, music inspired images on the front that are in a beautiful foil finish so they really shine and the back has got the grid on it so that you can put it underneath what you're writing on and the the lines of the grid will show through so if you're journaling or using it as like a planner or a diary you can have your lines there to write. This is the sticker set Again, with this year's theme, uh, or the, the 2019 theme for the Travelers Factory is this um, the Travel with Music theme. And so that's what these 
beautiful foil stickers um, are themed around and there's quite a lot of stickers in this bundle so it's got the music ones it's also got like these planner ones with months and dates on them a whole lot of little icons that you can use if you're bullet journaling or just using you know as a planner diary and these are like little highlight colored highlight stickers So they are really, really cute. I will definitely use them in some of my planning. And look at this. This is so cute. This is the little charm that I bought that's going to go on the outside. I, I, I really... Um, photography and cameras are really special to me. I, I love all types of photography and I had to get this. These little guys are brass stencils that you can use for lettering and numbering. So great for dates or writing down months or any anything. You can use it in so many different ways. Uh, so that is it. That is everything that I bought. So I am going to put this together and I will come back later on and show you how it all goes in. So I thought I would just skip forward now and show you the way I have put everything together that I bought. So this is the camel notebook cover. I've been using it now in Tokyo for about 10 days or so and it is wearing beautifully. You can see the scratches and things here um, just from general use and I think it's going to wear like an old club lounge. I think it's just beautiful. Uh, I put my little my little charm on here. I love everything about photography. Um, I used to work as a uh, professional photographer myself for a while, and uh, even before that, um, photos and cameras are something that's really special to me. So um, that I had to have the little camera when I saw it. So it just opens like this, and this is what I have got set up. So the first thing I've got is this piece of this plastic dashboard. Uh, it goes all the way through. So on this side, it is it is a a, a double-sided uh, envelope, like a sleeve, and on the the back side of it is a little ziploc pocket so i've got the little stencils in there and i'll probably put other little stickers and um, accessories that i want in that side and so that's what i've got first the second um, insert that i put in is like the business card holder insert here and what i'm using that for is for my washi tape samples i just got a little bit of cardboard and i have popped around some of my favorite um, washi tapes and so I can take those with me around and there are another set on the reverse side here and again at the back so I will fill that up uh, probably with some washi tape and some other little little things that I can slip in there so then the third thing on the inside I have got three notebook inserts that I have put one two and three so the actual notebook comes with one down the middle here and that is the original notebook that it came with and using those extender jump bands I have added another notebook to each side. So the one I've got at the back here is a craft one so it has got like the toned paper and the one I've got at the front is actually one that I bought before I left with watercolour paper in it. And so the one at the front I'm using for uh, Inktober. Uh, is anybody else doing Inktober out there? Uh, hopefully by the time I upload this video, it, hopefully October isn't quite finished. So Inktober was started many years ago by an artist who wanted to challenge himself to do a, uh, an ink drawing every day for the month of October. And since then it has grown and become a worldwide wonderful art challenge um, where the idea is that you do a different drawing every day. You can stick with the, uh, 
the original Inktober prompts if you want to. You can create your own and there's also some other wonderful artists out there who um, who have created lists of Inktober prompts if uh, you know in, in different themes. One of my favorite ones that I was going to do is from James Burke. Oh my goodness is anyone else following James Burke and his work? The most inspiring YouTube artist that I've come across. I have just totally binged on his stuff. It's just incredible. It's so whimsical and so charming and he's so incredibly talented. So um, I'll put a link to his um, his channel uh, in the description below. Um, so you've got to check out his stuff. And he had a really great list of prompts that he was doing called Whimsy Ween for his uh, Inktober and with, you know, charming little prompts. But for, for mine this year, I decided it had to be Japan. Uh, I'm here in Japan and I wanted to do a different drawing every day. So does anybody want to see what I've done so far? I will I'll show you what I've done so far. This is um, just a, a little drawing I did. I've just become really taken by uh, Japan's the, the manhole covers that are that are on all of the roads. Each prefecture in uh, in Japan um, has a different different cover and some of them are colored and some of them are just the plain metal and they are just all beautiful and this is the one for Tokyo that, um, that, I've, that I've seen everywhere and it's beautiful. Um, this is just a, a little sketch of uh, Fujisan that I saw from the window as we were heading as we were heading on out one day. Uh, a little umbrellas sketch that I did and I've I've always just loved um, I've loved I love umbrellas I love the rain and I love umbrella artwork and this was just a little a little play around can you see those metallic watercolors I'm using oh my goodness I'm just so taken with them that's from that Prima set that I've got this is a little drawing of my lunch the other day yes I'm not kidding you I have to find the photo of it now let me find it and show you because I've never had such a cute lunch Oh my goodness, yes, look, this was my lunch. This was really it. It was a curry with egg, rice. And it was actually delicious. This was at Hello Kitty World. It was amazing. It was so much fun. I might do a video on it if you want, if you want to see some fun stuff at Hello Kitty World. So that was my lunch I drew. Uh, this is just a, a, a little picture of the koi that we see everywhere here when we've been out and about in Tokyo and this is a picture of the tree that is growing a few doors down from here just in between um, the Airbnb that we're staying at and the place next door is this beautiful tree that has been lovingly trained into the, uh, into a bonsai shape just uh, on the side of the street and it's just gorgeous I stare at it every day and so I took a quick photo on my phone so I could draw it I, I love it uh, this actually isn't a drawing this is a stamp one of those stamps where you can keep all the so edges will keep joining up and I've just colored it in with uh, with watercolors and a little bit of a uh, uh, gold one of those gold gel pens Totoro little Totoro this is the cover from from Legoland one of those manhole covers again Legoland was incredible it was amazing and I will have a video coming up soon to show you all the fun that we had there and this is this is the the day when we went shopping uh, and it was pouring down rain and that's my little Zara uh, with her favorite skirt on underneath the umbrella can you see those metallics look at that I'm in love with these watercolors these metallics are just beautiful look at that So now because I'm on holidays, I don't have a lot of uh, art supplies with me, although I am having a ball at uh, 
all of the art and craft shops that are around oh my goodness that's a whole other video just on its own which I will do so but all all I have used for all of these artworks is the the little tin of watercolors that I made before I went you can check out the video on that that is um, half Jane Davenport brights and half of the Prima shimmering lights so I'm using that I'm using a waterproof pen Pigma Micron and it comes in different sizes and I am also I've also just got my pencil a cute little Hello Kitty uh, mechanical pencil that I picked up and for all of my watercolors I'm just using one of these water pens which has got the water on the inside so and, and that is all I'm using so thanks guys for watching um, I have got lots more videos planned for uh, for the time while we're here in Japan and I hope that you enjoy them so some of them will be craft related some of them won't I want to take you guys through uh, through Lego land with us and uh, I, I want to show you all the all the silly stuff that we get up to uh, with kids here in Japan um, so so uh, so bear with me while I do that and then I will be back to all my normal my normal craftiness before you know it so thanks for watching everybody and i will see you very soon for some more japan adventures bye